This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. I've been doing a lot of leather work recently and I realized the other day that even if I have a lot of tools, I need one more. I need a scabbing knife. I could buy one or order one online, but making one today is gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of money. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make a leather working scabbing knife from scratch to go with his big brother, Myron knife. Let's get started. For this scabbing knife, I chose to use XC75, also called 1075. It's a high carbon steel, easy to work and perfect for this kind of blades. Before I cut the shape of the blade, I'm punching the center of the holes that I will need for the pins. Then I can use my bandsaw to cut the rough shape. I'm drilling three pilot holes with a 4mm drill bits and two of them are re-drilled to 6 and 8mm. I need a perfect bevel on this blade and this jig makes this job very easy on the belt sander. I'll put a link in the description down below. With a 15 degree angle and a brand new 80 degree belt, I only need a few passes to get the final shape of the blade. I'm taking my time and making sure that I leave enough steel to not burn the edge of the knife during the heat treating process. According to the manufacturer, XC75 needs to be quenched at 800 degrees Celsius. I'm cleaning the scales pretty often and checking temperature with my infrared thermometer. I'm maintaining this temperature for a couple of minutes, then I can quench in oil. Sounds like a successful quench. Now I'm gonna clean the blade on my wire wheel before I can temper the blade in the oven. This small oven is supposed to reach a maximum of 250 degrees Celsius, and that's what I am aiming for. It will soften the blade and give me a hardness of 59 HCR. But judging by the color of the blade after the tempering, the oven works a little bit too well, 
and I got a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius which is okay because I still have a hardness of 57 HCR and that's perfect for the blade. Now I can clean the blade on the belt sander starting with a 120 grit belt then a 240 and finishing with a 400 grit. And just because I like shiny blades, I'm gonna go for a mirror finish and sand it a little bit more with 600 grit sandpaper. Now we can start working on the handle. I'm going with brass and walnut because I really like this combination. I'm using 2mm brass plates and some double sided tape to attach them together. I'm punching three holes for the pins, same size as for the blade, 4mm, 6mm and 8mm. A quick cut on the bandsaw to get the rough shape and I can cut the brass pins. I made these walnut scales a few months ago, now they are perfectly dry and ready to be used. I repeat the same process with the scales and shape them a little bit with a file. I'm using 5 minutes two parts epoxy to assemble all the parts, making sure that I have enough clamp to keep them all in place. The glue is drying now and it's gonna take a few minutes so I'd like to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills or develop existing interests and they have a lot of different topics like craft, 
illustration, productivity, or lifestyle. I need to do more sketching for my future projects, and I really want to improve my drawing skills. That's why I really enjoyed Josiah Brooks series about mastering illustration, sketching, inking, and color essentials. If you're watching this video, you're obviously interested in craft and videography and maybe also in music. Just like I did, you can improve your skills or even explore new challenges on Skillshare, like learning a new language or learn how to cook. The annual subscription is actually less than $10 per month, and you'll get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a great community of creative people. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. You'll get an unlimited access to thousands of classes and videos you can access at any time on any device, wherever you are, whatever you want. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and a big thank you to all the members of the Red Guild on Patreon for supporting my work. If you want to become a member of the Red Guild, go to patreon.com slash theredsmith. The glue is fully dry now, so we can do some shaping on the handle and sharpen the knife. This is probably my favorite part in knife making. This is when all the work you have done previously is revealed to you and the knife starts to appear in your hands. I'm dipping the handle in linseed oil and cleaning the excess with a cloth. I'm also cleaning the excess glue with a scalpel and now the knife is ready for a buffing wheel and a mirror finish. second coat of linseed oil, I can sharpen the knife with my sharpening stones, starting at 1000 grit and working my way up to 8000, finishing with my stropping paddle. is all done, it's really sharp, and now I can test it on leather straps. And it works perfectly. I'm super happy with how this knife turned out, and I really can't wait to use it for my leather work. As always, thank you for watching, be good, be safe, keep making, and see you in the next one.